Getting more followers on TikTok right now is as simple as taking advantage of the organic reach that currently exists on TikTok. In fact, it doesn't matter how many followers you have right now. It doesn't matter how many. You could have posted 100 videos, have them all flop. But if you implement the things that I'm about to share with you in this video, there's no reason you can't have a video get a million views, 5 million views, 10 million views. In fact, this creator right here gained over 10 million followers simply by implementing the things that I'm about to share with you in this video. This creator, over 15 million followers. And this creator, over 16 million followers. And all you have to do is simply implement the things that I'm I'm about to share with you and you can get free TikTok followers. Trust me, guys. This organic reach that we're seeing right now on TikTok is not going to last forever. In fact, I don't think it's going to last much longer. So you need to make sure that you're taking advantages and you need to make sure that you're hopping on this opportunity. You've already been sitting on the sidelines. I've been screaming about TikTok's organic reach for three years now. Gary V has been screaming about it. Almost every creator has been screaming about it and you still have failed to take advantage of it. And right now, we're going to change that. For starters, when it comes to posting on TikTok, you need to make sure that you're posting at the right time. If you do not post at the right time, the wrong people are gonna see your content initially, your watch time is gonna drop, and that's why your posts are dying. So many of you guys see your post die, or see your post never get views, or a lot of you see your post get zero views at all. The reason being is because you're not posting at the right time on TikTok. Right now, you should be focused on posting at the following times, 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. 3.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. And then from 7.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Now remember, there are several mistakes that creators make when it comes to these time slots. You need to be posting at these time slots for your specific geolocation. TikTok is a geo-focused app where you are right now, not where you were last week, not where you're gonna be a month from now. Where you are when you're posting, post at those time slots for that. In addition, you need to be waiting at least 45 minutes in between posts on TikTok. If you do not wait 45 minutes in between posts, your posts are not going to do well. Please do not do this. I see so many small creators will upload a video and then upload another video and then upload another video. Stop doing that. It is hurting your reach on TikTok because you're uploading too much and new people aren't eligible to see your content yet. Do not make that mistake, I beg you. Also, I can't believe I still have to say this, but a lot of creators, you guys are uploading when it says your followers are online. You're on TikTok to reach new people. If you want followers, Karen, then stop uploading when your followers are online. Do not go based on that. Go based on the time slots that I just shared with you. It's gonna help you get more organic reach. New people are gonna see your content. Those new views are going to turn into new followers if you're implementing everything I'm about to share with you. But before I get into that, I need you to smash that subscribe button. I upload a video about how to grow on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram every single day on YouTube, and I need to make sure that you never miss another episode. In addition to that, here's my phone number right here. Text me, take advantage of me. I want to help you grow on TikTok. I want to help you fulfill your dreams, whether that's growing your business or just getting more views on your videos so your kids think you're cool. I don't care what you're trying to do on TikTok. I can help you do that. And then finally, I created a free TikTok growth course you get at the link in the pinned comment below. This has thousands of dollars worth of information that I could be charging for, but I'm gonna give it to you right now for free. All you have to do is go to the link in the pinned comment below. Make sure you get into it before I close it. Now, before I share with you the best hashtags to be using on TikTok right now to make sure that your posts are going viral and that you're getting a lot more followers, I need to make sure that you're taking advantage of TikTok's latest features, and that is stories. You guys need to be uploading on stories for two different reasons. The first one, it'll help you turn your casual viewer into a follower. A lot of people, you guys are getting casual viewers on TikTok. The reason being is TikTok is not a follower-based app. It doesn't matter how many followers you have, your views are going to be dependent on whether or not there's an interest for the topic that you're actually posting about. Now, this does change, which is why you need to be changing. This. I'm not saying that you shouldn't have a niche, but within that niche, you need to be able to move around between different topics. For example, I helped this creator right here gain over 500,000 followers doing credit repair stuff. Now he's getting more into how to travel, how to do finance, what credit cards work. He's veering away from just being the credit guy. The reason being, you need to expand in order to grow your audience. Credit stuff, he's kind of saturated that with the content that he's putting out. So now he needs to expand his reach by talking about other things that are also related to having good credit. So, when it comes to taking advantage of TikTok stories right now, I would be posting three to four times a day. Make sure there's a call to action in almost every single one of those. Again, if somebody sees your story, sees that call to action, they're going to follow you, then guess what happens? Your TikTok gets promoted to more people. The TikToks you're going to post in the future get promoted to more people because the only goal that the TikTok algorithm has is keeping people on the app. And the number one thing that can show them that if somebody follows your account. If somebody follows your account, that's a clear indicator to TikTok of, hey, this person wants to see more from this person. 
person. In addition to that, they like this person so much that they're willing to click follow on a platform where you don't even have to follow people to see new content. So that means TikTok is gonna begin to push your stuff out. And a lot of you guys are not putting a call to action in your content. I don't know why. It's free followers. It's gonna help you get more followers. So put it in your stories. If you're that scared about doing it, put it in your stories. But you also need to be using your stories to help you go viral on TikTok. The way you're going to do that, test new content ideas, test new hooks in your stories. Why? Because you get comments and likes on your TikTok stories. If you get more comments and more likes on one topic compared to the next, what does that mean? That means you should make a feed video, an actual video on TikTok about that topic, and it's going to get a lot of views because that is what people are interested in. And if you upload what people are interested in on TikTok, guess what happens? Yep, you guessed it right. You get more views and you get more followers. For example, Boston Me Man has gained over 4.2 million followers on TikTok. The way that they were able to do this, not just through my mentorship program, but also through making sure that they're uploading on their stories to test out different topics, which results in them getting hundreds of thousands of views every single time that they upload. And most of the time, they get over 500,000 views. It doesn't stop there though. If you're serious about growing on TikTok and getting more followers, you need to be posting at the right time, take advantage of TikTok stories, and also making sure that you're using the right hashtags. I cannot emphasize this enough. There are three different types of hashtag strategies you need to be using on TikTok. There are three different types of hashtags you could be using on TikTok. The first are broad hashtags. Things like hashtag FYP, hashtag viral, hashtag trending. The second are trending hashtags. They're going to be the things that show up on the Discover page. And then finally, there are niche specific or post specific hashtags. These are the hashtags that show up when you search for the thing that you're about to be posting about and go under hashtags, those popular hashtags, they're incredibly important. Now, when it comes to the hashtag strategies you guys need to be implementing, I'm gonna share with you the three best hashtag strategies for this current TikTok algorithm in just a second. But before I do that, I need to make sure that you're not making a few mistakes. One, using irrelevant hashtags. Two, never using hashtags. Three, always using way too many hashtags. Four, implementing tons of hashtags and putting them before the description or putting them in the comment section. TikTok is not looking at your comment section or hashtags before the description to up determine who they're pushing your content out to, which FYI, that's why TikTok uses hashtags. It's really not to index your content. In the beginning it was, but now it's not. Now they're looking at the hashtags that you're using to see who they should be pushing your content to. So if you're using irrelevant hashtags, yes, Timmy, I see you using irrelevant hashtags. It's why the wrong people are viewing your content. It's why they're not watching the content. It's why your watch time drops, why TikTok thinks nobody's interested in your content, which results in your video dying off or your video never getting views to begin with. So right now, you need to be focused on three different hashtag strategies. The first one, four post-specific or niche-specific hashtags. The second one, three post-specific hashtags and one broad hashtag. And then finally, two broad hashtags, one post-specific hashtag. Now, please, I know I mentioned trending hashtags and you don't see trending hashtags as part of the strategy that I just mentioned with you. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't be using trending hashtags. What it does mean is you should only be using trending hashtags if you're actually participating in that trend. If you're not participating in the trend, do not use a trending hashtag. It is going to hurt your account. I repeat, it is going to hurt your account. You should only be using relevant hashtags on your posts. And those of you that aren't, it's why your posts are dying. So please stop doing that. The final thing that you need to make sure that you're doing in order to make sure that you're getting more followers on TikTok is actually producing the right type of content. You see so many creators mess this up. They're creating content that's way too long or that's way too short or that's just the wrong length. You need to understand something. A nine second video and a 10 second video on TikTok, there's a huge difference between the two of them. If you get the same amount of watch time on a nine second video, it's going to go viral. And if you got that on a 10 second video, it's not going to go viral. The reason being is because it's actually a huge discrepancy if you extrapolate how many views you get of how long it actually helps people people stay on TikTok. For example, if you had a nine second video, got nine seconds of watch time, and then you had a 10 second video, they got nine seconds of watch time, that's 100% on one of them, 90% on the other one. That nine second video, granted that both topics are completely the same, the nine second video is going to go viral, the 10 second video isn't, odds are the 10 second video is gonna flop. So please, make sure you're paying attention to how long you're actually creating your post and what the actual topic of your post is about. Just using one different word in your post, it could be about the same thing, the same video, but using a one word difference in your hook, it could result and a massively huge difference because it could make TikTok think either one, they have a large audience for the content or large interest in the content that you're creating or that they don't at all. So you need to make sure that you're paying attention to that. Now, if you want guaranteed followers on TikTok and results like everybody that I shared with you in this video, then keep watching. The opportunity to grow on TikTok and this organic reach is not going to last forever. And the only thing separating you from the creators that I mentioned in this video is one, that you haven't implemented the steps from this video yet. And two, you haven't gotten into my mentorship program where I literally guarantee that I can help you grow on TikTok. If you register for this program, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use, and I'm gonna critique your content for 30 days in order to guarantee that you grow on TikTok. You heard that right. If you don't grow on TikTok in this program, you get 
get your money back, zero questions asked. The average person that has joined the program in the last 30 days gained over 50,000 followers and the lowest amount of followers anybody has ever gained in the program is 6,500 followers. If you want results like that, and I'm guessing that since you're still watching this video, you're probably above average, so you'll probably see more than 50,000 followers in just 30 days, no matter what niche you're in, no matter what background you're from, none of that stuff matters. The only thing that matters is you need a social media coach. You need somebody telling you what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use so that you get results faster and you get results a lot easier. If that sounds interesting, go to the link in the description below. There are limited spots available and the price is going to be going up in 2022, so please make sure you check this out. This is the same exact program Joel Magician used to gain over 16 million followers, that Avmoves used to gain over 14 million followers, that Tuvok used to gain over 10 million followers, and thousands of other creators. I'm telling you guys, this opportunity is not going to last forever. If you want to take advantage of TikTok, you need to invest in I'm telling you guys, this opportunity is not going to last forever. If you want to take advantage of TikTok, you need to invest in this before the price goes up, before there are no spots available, so that you can guarantee that you grow on TikTok. At the end of the day, you have absolutely nothing to lose. You're either going to grow on TikTok or you are going to get your money back, zero questions asked. Go to the link in the description and sign up right now before spots run out. And by the way, if you're not interested in that, just check out the two videos I'm going to put up on the screen because they're the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.